Okay, welcome back to The Property Pilot. Today we're talking about how I bought two properties 40% below market value. Coming up. Okay, so welcome back. Today I'm talking about how I bought two properties 40% below market value. I'm gonna tell you how I did this and hopefully you can replicate it for yourselves. So first of all, I'll tell you what these two properties are. So these two properties were flats in the same block of flats in Leeds city centre. Now, how do I actually go about getting these properties so cheap? Well, these properties, interesting story, were repossessed properties. In fact, there were three to begin with, three flats in the same building going through a repossession. I've had these properties for nearly one year. They tried selling them on the open market, but only one of them sold on the open market the other two didn't sell so at the very last minute and i'm really talking last minute three days before the auction was was happening they chucked the remaining two in the auction now of course the auction house hadn't had sufficient time to adequately market this property i'm not even sure if viewings were undertaken on the property because i bought these properties blind which is another video i'm going to come on to very shortly but yeah they were very last minute very obviously as a result very not not marketed to the best of its ability and to no surprise they went unsold in the auction so Marco, you know, how did you actually get these properties if they went and sold in the auction? Well, one thing that I look at is I look at properties that don't sell in the auction and, you know, if they are an interest to me, I'll put forward an offer. So these two properties didn't sell. Now these two properties weren't even on my radar whatsoever. I hadn't picked up on them and that's because of two reasons. A, they were so so close to the auction that I, I, I missed it, even I missed it. But B, I was busy that day and I was unable to watch the auction live. Now, a friend of mine who knows these properties, he was a property saucer he said Marco you know these two didn't sell in the auction you know are they of any interest so I looked at them and thought yeah these are of interest and if I remember rightly the guide price was 116 or 117 thousand pounds in the auction per property right which means the reserve prices typically would be higher than that now these properties are worth between 160 and 175 thousand pounds each so even at the guide price they're a good deal but they didn't sell right so I don't want to buy it at the guide price I want to buy it lower than the guide price so I said to Simon I said right I want want these but I need them both not one I need both of them and I need them at hundred thousand pounds each I think he laughed and maybe told me to piss off excuse my language but we just left it at that you know I gave him proof of funds I said I can do a hundred thousand each I think the next day he came back to me he said you know it's not gonna happen they're looking for more than that I think he said they're looking for 110 or something like that so anyways I thought this is done and dusted there's no chance of getting these and I set sail to Gibraltar so me and another pilot we flew to Gibraltar together which is an incredible trip and I can't remember what leg we were flying I think we we're in Spain um somewhere over Spain and I, ch I checked my phone in the cockpit and I had two missed calls from Simon I thought all right I wonder what's going on here so I landed and he goes right £100,000 each, let's do it. And I couldn't believe it. And this was about seven or eight days after we'd last spoken, right? So, rushed back to the hotel room, transferred the deposit to, to the auction house and managed to get these properties for £100,000 each, bearing in mind they're worth somewhere between £160,000 and £175,000. So, really, really good and ha happy day. That was a very great evening. Now, a few things I want to talk about here. So, as you've probably already alluded to, I used a property sourcer here. And don't be afraid to use property sources because the right property property sourcer is worth their weight in gold. There's only so many people you can have relationships and if that property sourcer has other relationships with people you don't know and who's able to negotiate and people that, you know, agents that trust him, then, you know, utilize his network, utilize his experience, utilize his or her knowledge and, and don't be afraid to pay their fee. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, let's say I would have bought those properties in the auction at £117,000 each. I wouldn't have, but let's just say I, I, I would have. Well, you know, Simon got me them at 100000 each. So he saved me £17,000 per property. But I only pay him a percentage of the price that he's acquired that property. And that is far, far less. His fees are far, far less than the amount of money he saved me on that on that purchase price. So don't be afraid to work the sources. The right sources are worth the weight in absolute gold. Now, this property keeps on getting better. It turns out that one of the flats, they already paid rent in advance and there was 11 months to run on the contract. So pretty much a brand new AST and they've already paid rent up front. But that's cash flow wise, a really nice bonus to this particular deal. Now the other flat, the tenants were in the process of moving out and that was rented at a slightly lower rent, which is actually a really positive thing for me because I knew I could rent it at a higher rate when they vacated. So they were renting it, I think is £825 per month. They vacated and I 
turned it around, I got a tenant in at 950 pounds per month with minimal voids. So again, it further boosts the ROI and the yield that I'm achieving on these two particular properties. Now let's go over the numbers. So both these properties were rented out at 950 pounds per property. And you know, at the purchase price of 100,000 pounds each, that's an 11.4% yield. That's crazy, you know, and this was in the summer of 2022. In fact, probably between spring and summer of 2022. And for those of you who were in property at that particular time, the market was absolutely crazy. Prices were ridiculous. And to get a yield and a deal that great at that point in time was amazing. So I was really happy with that result. Now, if there's two bits of advice I can give to anyone who wants to try and replicate this and emulate some similar success here is consider buying post auction. So find all the auction houses local to your area or to the areas that which you target, put them, diarize them, watch the auctions or physically attend the auctions. And those ones that don't sell, analyze those deals. And if there's any that jump out to you, you know, go through the legal pack, understand what you're getting yourself into, and do not be afraid to submit an insulting or low offer. But what's the worst that can happen? They say no, right? So consider buying post auction, follow the auctions closely, and the worst that can happen is they say no, which is fine, right? Because eventually you'll get, you'll come to a yes. Now, another thing I want to talk about is having credibility in you. And you know, when you're actually putting forward an offer, okay, you can put forward a low offer, but that offer has to be serious. It has to be credible. And there's a couple of ways how we do this. So again, a Attach proof of funds, you know, again, I gave Simon a really low offer of £100,000 per property, but I attached him proof of funds that show I could pay for both of it cash, no problem. So, you know, by backing up your offer and being a, a man or woman of your word, that speaks its weight and volume. Now, of course, if you've got a track record with this particular person, that really helps because they know that you can commit to a deal and, you know, you can, whatever you say, you stick to it. And lastly, you know, speed's really important in property. So uh, obviously in auctions, speed is essential. Most auctions will require that you complete within 28 days or something like that right but you know if you're trying to do this outside the auction you know in, in a private a private sale then really hammer home that you can complete in a speedy manner because sometimes this will make the difference between your offer being flat out rejected or maybe coming back to negotiate something something different so this is how i purchased two properties 40 percent below market value in an absolutely booming time of the property market now we've got a recession well i think so anyway we're entering a recession or we will be entering a recession very shortly and you know maybe you can even secure a great a discount or far more 40 percent than you could do in you know 2020 2021 so now is the time to actually be buying at a great discount and you know i'm sure there's going to be lots of people getting really good deals during the recession and if you're not already keeping hold of your cash and stockpiling whatever cash you have i strongly recommend that you do so because cash is king especially going forward as rates are going up lending will be squeezed slightly stress rates are going to be a lot higher affordability is going to be you know squeezed at times so cash is absolutely king you know do whatever you can to stockpile that cash because coming into the auctions in 2023, you're going to be able to get some fantastic deals, absolutely fantastic deals. And then you can finance those maybe in 12, 18 months when rates come down. So I hope you've got value from today's video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What are you doing? Come on, subscribe to the channel. There's some really good content. And, um, you know, as I said before in my previous video, once we get to 10,000 subscribers, I'll be picking one of my subscribers at random and you'll be joining me in the cockpit. We'll be doing a fly over Yorkshire and we'll be sharing that experience experience together. So thank you very much for watching today's video and I wish you all the best in your property journey.